Oh hi, I'm the heretic. So here we have what I call anarcho-statism demonstrated, a self-contradictory term for people who believe in self-contradictory ideas. You'll see what I mean shortly. Comrade Hyena thinks he can destroy anarcho-capitalism, so let's see him just destroy me. Hit it! Anarchism is a broad term usually meant to describe stateless socialism and is in opposition to capitalism. Anarcho-socialism? You mean anarcho-statism. Two mutually exclusive ideas. Socialism requires a state. What do you think dictatorship of the proletariat means? Your workers' revolution is just going to give a mob the legally recognized right to initiate force. You know, creating a state. But for some reason, I still see people like Mr. Dapperton, Marine and Cap Kitty, CO Moko, or however the hell his name is pronounced, and Atomic Ancap calling themselves anarcho capitalists. I'm not Ancap enough for you? Well, screw you too, dude. I've looked into Ancapism and I realize just how much of an oxymoron it is. You mean like anarcho statism? And here's why. For one, they don't follow the common definition of anarchism, which is the abolition of all unjustified hierarchies. If they're still bosses, CEOs, etc., then that doesn't seem like anarchism at all. Anarchism comes from Greek, an, meaning without, and archos, meaning rulers. Without rulers. Not without hierarchies, without rulers. What part of without rulers is so impossible for anarcho-statists to grasp? Not only that, but since these people can hire others to attack or kill people on a whim to protect my private property, um, then you're also allowing some to have an illegitimate force on the monopoly of power, which it means it's a state. No, that's wrong. <sighs> this argument again. Your owning a toothbrush is somehow an aggressive act against me. Property rights are inactive, meaning the defense of it can only be reactive, which does not require a state. It'll either turn on to a corporate dictatorship or Somalia 2.0. I keep thinking that this kid's reading off a script, given how much he focuses off camera, but then he says stupid things like Somalia's a corporate dictatorship, and I know he's just reading off communist talking points. For the record, Somalia is controlled by warring political parties and warlords, not anarcho capitalism or corporate. Both of which aren't anarchists. Second, anarchism is stateless socialism, not capitalism. Anarchism, again, means without rulers. Not anarcho-socialism, which is a self-contradiction. The many anarchist philosophers already explained this. The possessions of the rich are stolen property, Pierre Joseph Proudhon. Political freedom without economic equality is a pretense, a fraud, a lie. And the workers um, uh, want no lying, but Kale Bakunin. Competition is the law of the jungle, but cooperation is the law of civilization. Peter Kropotkin. The fact that you're reading through them so quickly without explanation or giving us time to think about it tells me you know this is bullcrap too. Industry is the ceaseless piracy of the rich against the poor. And, uh, oh yeah, um, who said that? <laughs> uh, Emma Goldman. Industry is bad, which is why I use a computer with a microphone to broadcast it on the internet. Using the products of industry to explain why I think industry is mean. That's not even anarcho-statism, that's just primitivism. Anarcho-capitalism doesn't fit these. Well, for one thing, we don't want to de-industrialize and reduce technological advancement back down to zero. And anarcho-capitalism not matching these things is a good thing. Let's also take a look at a quote of the creator of anarcho-capitalism, Murray Rothbard. Look at this smug smirk of self-satisfaction. The kind of cockiness of someone who's gonna pull one on over us. Oh, he's got us now. There's no way anarcho-capitalists will be able to recover from this. Let's just watch him take the quote out of context. We, we must therefore conclude that we are not anarchists, and that those who call us anarchists are not firm, whatever the f that word means, ground on being a completely unhistorical Murray and the Rothbard. Since you're a little slow, let me break it down for you. Rothbard was referring to how the term anarchy and anarchism are loaded terms associated with socialist and socialistic ideas that ultimately undermine the very concept of anarchism. Because the so-called anarchists are anarcho-statists, he wanted to abandon the term completely, but didn't want to be an archist, as his ideas are fundamentally opposed to the existence of an archy or a ruler. He proposed the term non-archist instead. Hyena's reading all these quotes from pre-socialist and socialist philosophers only proves Rothbard's point. 
but respectfully, I disagree. Our use of the term anarchy pisses the anarcho-statists off and ultimately forces them to undermine their own principles regarding property as they claim ownership over the term anarchy, spending entire videos on semantics about the definition of anarchy without refuting any of our ideas. Anything that pisses off the anarcho-statists is okay by me. Third, you so-called anarchists are against direct democracy, uh, which is one of the key tenets of anarchism. Democracy requires arbitration, which requires a state. Anarcho-statist thought in action. Suppose you have your way, and the mob decides that I need to do 10 jumping jacks a day. What happens if I refuse? I couldn't say, but I know what won't happen. They won't ask nicely. Without even knowing how it works, I don't need to explain myself from that point. But hey, I'm just a Maoist, what do I know? Now it all comes together. You built your intellectual edifice on the broken backs of 80 million Chinese people who were murdered or starved to death under Chairman Mao's regime. If the Nazis are horrible for killing 12 million people in the Holocaust, then Maoists are at least six times as horrible. That you would even entertain such a murderous and horrific idea demonstrates all I need to know about you. I don't want to hear from you again until you can look down and see the starved bodies you planted your soapbox on, and you can address that openly and honestly.